Are you ready to level up? Today, get excited to be empowered and inspired in your life and your business because they're both all about relationships. Let me tell you a different way of seeing things. When you think about stepping into your life, stepping into your business, creating a cultural movement based on how you add value, based on your product, your message, or your service. When you go out to add value, think about creating a culture of connectivity where everyone is empowered, not based on their what they're doing, but who they're being. Many times we talk about a culture of service where we're constantly empowering based on what people are accomplishing, um, how well they're doing their job, doing, doing, doing. We are human beings, not human doings. And the culture of service mentality is limited because if you're not performing, it is saying that you're not worth it. You amount to what you can do for me. So we're going to create a culture of connectivity. And it is all about who you are being when you're coaching, when you're working as the CEO of your life. When you are doing, you're going to focus on who you're being. Let me give you an example. When I am coaching an entrepreneur or someone who's experiencing some different things going on in their life, I show up as a powerful influencer, a master relationship builder, and a master connector. Those are my three words of who I'm being when I show up. And this is a powerful mindset strategy to get you on ready when you are going to meet with your potential clients, when you're going to go into the role of mom, friend, wife, business partner, husband, significant other, et cetera. Choosing these three words is called a mental rehearsal. Get your pen and paper out because I want you to write down three words for yourself. I want you to choose your own mental rehearsal because this is ultimately how you're going to create a culture of connectivity and how you're going to become your own empowerment generator to per perpetuate the cycle of empowerment with your clients, with your family, with your friends, in all of your relationships. And it will cause a ripple effect because it creates unlimited potential for greatness and success. So get your pen out, write down three words, descriptive words of who you're being when you're sharing your product, your message, or your service. You ready? Then I want you to attach your mental rehearsal to an anchor. An anchor is something that reminds you of who you're being when you're performing the action. For example, I use a pen, any pen will do. And I use a pen to anchor me down to remind me that I'm a powerful influencer, a master relationship builder, and a powerful connector. And I use a pen because with a pen, you can give life or death to a culture. With a pen, you could drastically influence and impact what a culture sees and hears and feels. And that is my goal as a coach. And then to help other people to become that impact in their lives. So a pen is my anchor. What's yours going to be? Write it down. So the mental rehearsal is a powerful strategy to get on ready to say game on to your life and your business. Now I'm going to tell you how to put that mental rehearsal into action because without action in your life and your business, how are you ever going to experience that romance with life that you deserve? So how you launch your mental rehearsal into action is by taking those three descriptive words drawing an arrow from each one of them across your paper and saying, hmm, how am I going to be influencing today? In what ways will I connect with others today? In what way will I empower others today? 
What does that look like? Maybe I'm going to go record a Facebook Live video. Maybe I'm going to reach out today on some Zoom business calls and tell people that they deserve to be empowered and inspired. Maybe I'm going to write a whole bunch of messages, just powerful check-in points to people in my sphere of influence and just say, hey, I just wanted to say hi and hope you're having a good day. Something as simple as that can start to create that ripple effect, creating a culture of connectivity and ultimately also adding value to you. The definition of an empowerment generator is someone who adds value to others based on their skill set, but then receives value from others based on their skill set. So it's a constant generation of value being added and given. And once you succeed at becoming your own empowerment generator by taking control of your mindset, drastically shifting in your communication strategies and breaking free from the sales pitch, you will realize that you have absolutely limitless potential to connect your message, your product or your service and your vision to your target market. Are you excited yet? I am. So that is just one way to grow in your mindset. A second powerful tool to grow in your mindset is first clearing the clutter. It's an activity called the brain dump. So what you do is you set a two minute timer and you do a brain dump, which means you dump your brain out on paper. Anything that comes your way, it's a stream of consciousness writing because then you start to see how you're really showing up. When you see yourself on paper, outside of your mind's eye, it helps you to realize, oh, this is who I'm being right now. And then you get to make the choice. Do I wanna stay this person or stay in these emotions? Or am I choosing to jump in to my mental rehearsal on who I actually am being? When you dive into your mental rehearsal, when you say something like, I'm a powerful influencer, a master relationship builder, and a master connector, you become the influence in your life versus living under the influence of your life. And living under the influence means that your environment, your situation, your emotions, your relationships is what dictates your success, is what dictates your productivity is what dictates your vision, ultimately your destination of where you will end up. So setting yourself up for success means doing your mental rehearsal, launching it into action, doing things like the brain dump when you're not feeling like you have direction going on for you and getting in the right mindset because ultimately success is 90% of your mindset. And do you know what's 90% of your mindset? Your verbal and your nonverbal cues. Partnering with confidence as part of your mental rehearsal will drastically shift your internal terrain. Doing things that help you to feel confident. Things, exercises like the brain dump can help you to realize where you are not being confident or how you're showing up not being authentically yourself. Get confident and that will grow your mindset and that will communicate your most authentic you. Because when you're being true to yourself, your skill set, that is a natural differentiation in your market. No one can do what you can do or the way that you do it. I want you to know that. That is your superpower. Your identity is your superpower. Then we launch into how you're communicating. Well, your platform is always your mindset. So when you're in the right mindset, it completely shifts how you communicate, what you communicate. Now let's step into that external communication. Now that we've gotten clear on the internal terrain. The external communication is 
how you display your skill set to the world, how you connect with the world around you and your potential clients. So you want to make sure that your foundation is always your mental rehearsal. And having a pen and paper is your greatest partner in success. Because when you keep everything up here, it's cyclical, it's circular. Thoughts, ideas, visions, goals, they just constantly stir, stir, stir around and around and around until you almost have this brain hurricane and everything feels scattered. And then you start to partner with overwhelm and partner with fear and partner with uncertainty, ultimately lack of confidence. So it's very important to make everything linear and put it out on paper, make it clear because you deserve clarity. So once you get clear in your internal terrain, we'll step into those external communications. And then you might ask yourself, what do I really wanna to communicate to the world? How you're gonna figure that out is establish your vision for how you get to add value to others. What is your vision a year from now? What do you want your life and your business to look like? Partner with your future self who's already experiencing the success that you want. What does he or she look like? What does she feel like? What is she wearing? I always wear blazers because it puts me in the right mindset. That's another anchor that I have. So partner with your future self. What are they doing? What are they experiencing? Step into their feet, their mind, their eyes, their hands, their, their words, and really create a vision for what you want to be experiencing. You deserve clarity. You deserve to be your own empowerment generator. And how you get there is really fine tuning that vision and know and believe that you are capable of absolutely anything. I wanna share a fun little story with you. So I'm sure some of you have heard or seen or experienced the Sistine Chapel. Now, Michelangelo was commissioned to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Little did anyone know that he was not really a painter. He was more of a sculptor. But when he was commissioned, he said, yeah, absolutely, I can do this. And then he, he came across some obstacles. See, what most people don't realize was on the Sistine Chapel was already a painting of a starry night. So he had to develop a vision that was larger than the obstacles in front of him. Not only that, he had to lay on top of a scaffold and paint virtually almost upside down on his back. And his vision had to propel him, inspire him, empower him to create something that was bigger than himself. Michelangelo painted tireless, tirelessly for four years, day in and day out. He was so inspired by his own vision and what he was creating that it gave him the motivation, the confidence, the drive to keep working towards those goals little by little. And he continued on in perseverance. He had no idea what he was capable of until he set out to start. My question to you is, do you know what you're capable of creating? If you're starting a business right now, if you have an idea of how you wanna add value, if you're inspired by, by a need that you're seeing going unmet in your culture, how do you know that you're not the one to make a change? Let me tell you, you deserve to know 
that you have no idea that what you are capable of until you start. So enlarge your vision, make it bigger than absolutely any obstacle you could possibly face and make sure you can feel it. And then keep your eye on your vision. Your vision is synonymous with destination. And when, you know, oftentimes people set goals and they don't align them to their vision, but your vision is your destination. And you plug in your goals to your destination, you're most likely to get there. So what you do is you get a notebook, like this one, and you work backwards. You write your vision. You write your vision based on your annual, your monthly, your weekly, your daily. And make sure everything lines up with your ultimate vision of what you want to be experiencing. See, when you align yourself with your vision, your subconscious puts you on a moving conveyor belt towards what you want to be experiencing ultimately. And everything starts to fall into place. It's not that the law of attraction is something magical. It's that when you really fine tune your focus, success happens because you're aware of your opportunities around you. I wanna share with you some, a little something extra today, the secret sauce. This book, Money, is God in action, is powerful to shift how you think about your deservability. I don't know if you've heard that phrase deservability before, but we're gonna hear a lot of those. Deservability, connectivity, I know you know profitability, but deservability is a part of mindset. It's a part of confidence. It's a part that of realizing what you deserve to be experiencing in this life and in your business. Oftentimes entrepreneurs say, I want to price this, my program at X. I say, okay, fantastic. How do you feel about that? They say, oh, I feel good about it. I said, okay. So if you were someone looking into your program and you saw that price, how would you feel about it? Oftentimes they say, I kind of feel like they're, they don't think they're worth it. So always be looking at the way you're pricing your programs, at the way you are, you are displaying your deservability in your conversations, in your communications. Are you using words like try? Are you showing up partnering with insecurity? Make sure that you partner with high deservability. You know, this book talks about how executives may work two hours a day, but they get paid more than people that work 40 hours a week. Do you know why? Because they are convinced. They are convinced that they are deserving. And therefore they communicate that. They communicate that effectively through their mindset. Because when they have that mindset of deserve, high deservability, then everything before them, they're able to pause with a purpose. They're able to say, this is, what, this is what I'm worth. And there is no justification. There is no partnering with insecurity. There's only partnering with success, assurity, and confidence because they are convinced that this is what they deserve. Stepping into the right mindset differentiating yourself based on being your most authentic self, and then launching into a rigorous course of action is how you will succeed. And when I say action, I mean by defining your vision, getting it laser focused, partnering with your future self, working backwards to set up your goals. And that is going to help you become a, a master connector, a powerful influencer, and a master relationship builder. Another 
fun, valuable way that you can add value to your clients through your message or your product or your service is by using elements of humor and humanity. Now for this last part of this little workshop, we're gonna talk about breaking free from the sales pitch, which is one of my favorites. So oftentimes when people think about business, they put it in the specific professional box. When I want you to think business, I want you to equate that to people. When you think money, I want you to think value. And when you think marketing and sales, I want you to think messaging. Write that down. Because this is the way you're going to start breaking free from these ideologies, these perceptions of what it means to be in business, because they're not serving you. Throw them out. So this is what it looks like on a regular basis. You are partnering with people through the right messaging, adding value to their lives while, while they add value to yours. So when you go to give a 30 second pitch in our Zoom world, or when you go to possibly do a discovery call or a 30 minute session with anyone, make sure that you are engaging humor and humanity. For example, Ask them an off the wall first question. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? What's the most exciting thing that's happening in your life today? Break the mold. You know, oftentimes in sales, we forget because we're so focused on giving the best pitch possible, the best messaging we can share with someone based on our product message or service that we forget that we have to help the potential client break free from receiving the sales pitch. Did you think about that one? Maybe not. But if you did, well done, you're awesome and ahead of the game. But you always wanna be focused on really engaging who you are, your humanity, with every possible meeting that you have with a potential client, with someone you're just networking with, with virtually anyone. One of the books that I like to incorporate to help me to stay in my human setting, so to speak, is 52 Lists for Happiness. Now this book just has amazing lists for inspiration, positivity, balance, and joy. Like list the things that get you out of your head. What a great list. List the elements of your life where you feel challenged in a positive way. This is a great book. These two books are excellent. I can see someone's probably going on Amazon already. So you want, so let's, let's recap for a second. You want to step into your humor and your humanity. And getting the 52 lists for happiness and money as God in action, these two books will give you talking points, will give you powerful ways to level up in your own mindset and then share that value with others. Because what is the goal? The goal in all your client interactions and any interaction in general is to add value based on who you are, based on your product, your message, or your service that you provide the world. That is always the goal. So recap, launch into your mental rehearsal. Do your brain dumps. Realize that you want to launch into action based on your vision. Partner with your future self. And now we're breaking free from the sales pitch. So the goal is to break free from the sales pitch. So for example, there's this ideology that I'm going to share with you and I'm also going to share in my six week workshop coming up in March is SEO for the brain. Have you ever noticed that when people start talking and saying words like benefits or program or any other words that are typical in their industry, our brains just kind of stop paying attention. So like with Google, 
that does, you know, recognizes SEO, search engine optimization, your brains have an SEO algorithm as well. The search engine optimization of your brain. And so you want to choose the words that you are oftentimes using in your industry to share your sales pitch, to share how you add value to others. And you're going to look at those words, write them down, and you're going to choose two different ways to say them differently. For example, if you're a financial advisor, you might not say, I help people with their investments and their finances. You might say something like, I had value to people by helping them with their money life. It's all about the money life. So you can find different ways to add value to people and get creative. Because once you get creative, you become inspired by your own message. And that conveys the confidence that you need to make the sale, to add value to people so that they will add value to you. So SEO for your brain, start shifting the words that you say, the phrases you use, break out of that box in your mind and enlarge how you share your message in your external relationships. If you practice all of these tools and these mindset strategies, you will become your own empowerment generator and you will, you will create a culture of connectivity. So it's all about adding value. Business means people, marketing and sales means messaging and money means value. Increase your deservability because you deserve it. You deserve to be empowered, inspired, and now you're prepared. Game on. Reach out. I'm Bridget Hom with Bridge to Freedom Coaching. I can't wait to meet you all. Take care.